You shall make a lampstand of pure gold. The lampstand and its base and its shaft shall be made of hammered work. Its cups, its calyxes, and its flowers shall all be of one piece with it. Six branches shall come out of its sides, three branches of the lampstand out of the one side, and three branches of the lampstand out of its other side, the shaft being the seventh branch. Three cups shall be made like almond blossoms, each with a calyx and a flower on each branch, and three cups made like almond blossoms on the other branch with a calyx and a flower. A calyx shall be under the first pair of branches coming out of it, and a calyx under the second pair of branches coming out of it, and a calyx under the third pair of branches coming out of it. Their calyxes and their branches shall be of one piece with it. All of it shall be one piece of hammered work of pure gold. The angel that talked with me before woke me. I, Zechariah, was like a man who wakes out of his sleep. The angel said to me, What do you see? I said, I see a lampstand that is made from gold. It has seven lamps and a bowl on top which contains oil. And it has seven branches that take the oil to each lamp. I, Zechariah, said to the angel that talked with me, What does this light mean, my lord? He said, Do you not know what these are? I said, No, my lord. Then the angel said to me, The Lord said this to Zerubbabel, who will rebuild his temple. You will need my spirit. You yourself are too weak, and you do not have enough power. That is what the Lord Almighty says. Big mountain, you are no problem. You will become flat ground in front of Zerubbabel. Then he will bring out the last and biggest stone of my house. The people will shout, God bless it, God bless it. Then the Lord's message came to me, Zechariah. He said, Zerubbabel has put down the first stone of my house. He will also finish it. Then you will know that the Lord Almighty has sent me to you. Everyone should know that the day of small things is important. Who, with reason, despises the day of small things, beginnings? For these seven eyes shall rejoice when they see the plumb line in the hand of Zerubbabel. They are the eyes of the Lord which roam throughout the earth. Those who have made fun of this day of small beginnings will celebrate when they see Zerubbabel holding this important stone, capstone. The people should not think that small beginnings are unimportant. Who despised the day when little things began to happen? For who has despised the time of insignificant things? Does anyone dare despise this day of small beginnings? They'll change their tune when they see Zerubbabel setting the last stone in place. Do not despise these small beginnings, for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin.